Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we are going to go over private variables. Privacy is one of those fundamental concepts, those underlying important ideas that if you don't understand, it will be difficult to write really advanced code. The concept of privacy I like to describe as, um, if I can make an analogy like your computer. So if you look at your computer, it's a box um, that has a bunch of cables coming out of it, right? But if you open up the box and look inside, it's a very, very complicated piece of equipment. And, and so it, it's the, when you think about the user, you, using the computer, you don't really care about everything, all the inner workings, right? You just care about what to plug in where and where to plug it into the wall in order for it to use it. Same thing is with privacy. When you have libraries, you want to expose the user and what and and what I mean user is the person who uses the library. So it could be you because you're using your own library or some other programmer is using your library. You want to be able to expose as much as you need to to the user but not any more. All right? So if we can compare it to the computer, you want to be able to say, "Hey, these are the cables and these are the ports." But you don't want to show the user anything else, like all the CPU and graphics and stuff like that, because it's just confusing and it's nonsense stuff. It's kind of like somebody tells you a story and they're not getting to the point because it just keeps going on and on and on. Okay, you just want to get to the point, make it simple and straightforward as possible. Let's give an example. I just made a, a library here, private. I made some variables, functions. And another function. Okay, so the function is based upon the variables. The new function is based upon the previous function. If I go back to the main, I imported it. And I'm going to say um, print. Here are my choices. I can do A, B, or C. Adding function, divider function. So I can do any and all of those. No big deal, no surprise. So it's 15 because in the library it was 15, right? I can also change this so I can say um, a equals 1 and I can change this to 1, right? What if though for some reason I did not want that to be possible? I want a to be 15 and that's it. There's several ways which you can do it, okay? We could have done the const, right? We could have done that and in this case it would give us an error because constant variables cannot be assigned a value because it is what it is. But at the same time, if I come, come back here, it's still there. And what if I have thousands of variables and I can't keep track of them? Remember, you want to expose the user, I guess, I'm going to say it again, what they need and not anything, else, anything more than that. What if, let's say for example, I really only want the user to be able to access the functions adding and divider. I don't want them to be able to change these or even look at these. What I do to make the variables private are put an underscore in front of them. Because right now, with no underscore, it is called a public variable. You can see this variable anywhere in the program. If I put an underscore behind, uh, in front of it, excuse me, it's called a private variable, where the variable value and the variable itself is only seen within the library private. It is not seen anywhere else. So if I go back to here and try to print, what are my options? I can see C, but I cannot see A and B, right? That's because A and B are private, and this is public. But I'm going here, and I'm saying undefined name B, undefined name A. So in other words, A is a different variable from underscore A. Okay, so you have to be careful about that. We put underscore, underscore, and that goes away. The, the error, um, the warning sign goes away. Let's make everything private. Okay, so we go under here, we try to look, all of the variable, variables are gone. They're not gone, gone, of course, they're just hidden because they're private, and now we just are left with the functions. So if you look at the functions adding, again, private variables, you can see it anywhere in the library itself. So adding function, it returns the value right here, right, um, of these private variables. And if you print adding, you can still get the result. 
So even though you can't see the variables, you can see the res you can use the result of adding the variables. And when it returns the value, you can still use that in your program. So again, this is like the port. Remember, hide everything inside, show the user what they need, and that's this. Same thing can be with divider. You're using adding right inside of here. So add div by divider. And you could print that as well. So it should be 25, right? Because it returns a double right here. Just for the record, you can make functions private as well. So if we go back here and we print, it's the same thing, okay? But if we try to look for adder, it is gone. So putting a underscore before anything, even a class, although I'm not sure why you would make a class private, but hey, if it's whatever you want to do, you, you certainly could make it private if that's what you wanted to do. Okay, so it's not just variables, functions as well. So that's the concept of it. So make sure that we understand this because that's super important for the future itself. Whenever you see this, try to make everything as much private as possible. It is visible in the um, library, not outside of it. And one more thing. Do you remember we talked about when we had we, we did something like um, import Dart, and for example, we said Dart Math or something like that? And in a previous video, I asked the question, what's the difference between part and part of um, versus import export? Do you remember that? Um, so what is the difference between the two? If you import and export versus part, part of, part and part of, they are part of the same library. So if you have private variables, if I wrote part of, and there was another library called private one, all of these private variables would be visible to private one because it's the same library, right? If you did an import, it would be invisible to all of those. So if there was private one dot dart and I imported private dot dart right through here, I could not see any of these private variables because it's a different library altogether. Perfect example right here. I'm importing it right here, but I cannot see any of the any of the private variables themselves. So that's the difference between part, part of, and import, export, is that pr the concept of privacy is still respected within the same library. And when you use part, part of, it's the same library, import, export. You're bringing it in, bringing it in, excuse me, I'm mumbling here, but only the public variables are you bringing into the new library. Okay, so I hope that was that clarifies what the difference is between those. Um, and I think that pretty much covers up the concept of privacy. We're going to go over it a little bit more in other ways, but this is basically uh, private variables in a nutshell. Thanks.